Okay, it's time for me and my arch rival. Music. Also, I hope this episode is good. <laughs> I hope that this is obvious too, that there's never any guarantee that anything is gonna be good. It's like, I, I always hope so, but man, sometimes like, especially as the episodes come together, you're like, dude, I don't know about this. I guess we'll see. So for music writing, I used to set two songs in a day as a good metric and a good goal, but I think I'm gonna go for one song a day and put more effort into the one song. I don't know. Does that actually make sense? Will it act? Because I don't know if more time... Actually, you know what I... Here's what I'm really gonna do. I'm going to be willing to struggle with a song for longer. I feel like lately my tolerance for struggling with a song has gotten shorter and shorter, but if you just give it enough time and enough struggle, I usually am pretty happy with the result, but I can't give up too easy. I got... got Okay, this right here is a long, long time coming. I finally got a new pair of running shoes. I got the exact same ones <laughs> because these past ones have been fantastic. Why not get the same ones? In fact, I like this color a lot better too. It is gonna be very interesting to see how fast I can run with a new pair of shoes versus those. I'm sure an industrious vlog watcher can find out when exactly I bought these shoes, but it had to be over a year ago, right? and I've ran in them almost every single day, so. With that in mind, let's go for a run. Wow, dude, my old shoes literally feel like socks compared to these. It's like putting on like a, a vice or something. Wow. Okay, I will report back and let you know how it went. Okay, I think that's the last time I'm ever gonna try that again because that makes exercise not fun. Nonetheless, my one mile time was five minutes, 38 seconds. That's five seconds better than my previous record of 5.43. Whew! Yeah, I could probably get it down to 5.30. But do I want the pain involved with getting it down to 5.30 ever again. It's really a theoretical thing anyway. Because if you line the streets with hot girls, do you know how fast I'd be able to run? I'd be like, oh yeah, watch it, let me go faster, let me go faster. Or if I was being chased by a bear, do you think that I could run a five minute mile? I think I could. Now the bear example, that would be a terrifying, horrible experience. So why would I wanna recreate that? And the girl thing, that's an impossible experience, so why should I hold myself to that standard? I shouldn't. That's the answer, baby. Ooh. Anyways, speaking of exercise being fun or not, Ring Fit Adventure is so much fun. Great! One song is complete. I might add a little more to it, but maybe not. It's actually, it sounds kind of nice. I think one of the big problems I have now is that I've written like 400 tracks in the past five years. And it's kind of like Uematsu, man. Like, you listen to Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6, you're like, this music is incredible. And then you listen to 10, you're like, oh, dude, you are burned out, aren't you? Anyways, long story short, is with my limited theory knowledge, it's really hard for me to branch out and do something completely different, which I don't think is all bad because People listen to musicians because they like the sound of that musician. Like I, my favorite musicians, they can keep doing the same thing they've always done with just slight variations and I will eat it all up. But as the creator of the music, I have to keep changing it and renewing it so that I'm still excited about it. And I'm like, oh yes. Which even when I make something that sounds just like all of my other songs. I'm still excited about it. It's just like there's this thought in the back of my mind. It's like, oh man, people are just gonna be like, this is the same old shit you always do. Which I did a live stream of me making a song a few weeks ago and most people enjoyed it, but one person commented and said, you always write the same song. And I'm like, I know, I'm trying here. Okay, it's not easy. You go write 
500 songs and you tell me how different they all are. Okay, hopefully I can get this streaming setup finally going. We've had lots of issues and I don't know if it's hardware, cables, user error. I don't know what's going on because all the issues happen when I'm not there. So I'm not that hopeful actually. I think the studio is good to go. I think all the kinks are ironed out. Troubleshooted this recurring problem where it kept not getting signal. It is super time for a shower. Woo! That feels better. Wicked hot Chipotle peanuts. Thank you for the peanuts. Now it's time to go play Minecraft with my sister. Do I have everything? Yes. How do people, how do people, how do people, Okay, that will do it for today's vlog. What I was gonna say is how do people just consistently do great things and they just accomplish so much? Doesn't everybody feel like they're never measuring up to whatever they actually wanna be? And then just lots of people are pretending that they're actually measuring up and then some people somehow are, but do they still feel like that they're not measuring up? Because I feel like I'm not measuring up. Do the people who like really accomplish really great things and lots of great things, do they just never take days off where they just stare at a wall and have no energy or ability to do anything? Because I envy those people if that's the case. In any case, thank you for watching today's vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't give up too easy. I got I got